Amongst the many things that make the life plan community of Cypress Cove such a wonderful place to live are its amenities, which include an art studio. It was organized by residents and continues to be operated by residents under the leadership of Perry and Susan Ahrens. Today I'm here to learn about something new that's been added to the studio, paper art. Our tour guide today is crafter Claudia Compton. Hi, here we are in the art studio at Cypress Cove Life Plan Community. And one of the things I like so much about Cypress Cove is it's got a lot of amenities and one is an art studio. And not only do you have an art studio, but it was founded by residents and it's still operated by residents. And the reason I wanted to do this video is because it's a new form of art, at least as far as I know, for Cypress Cove, and it's paper art. So tell me how the, this got rolling. Okay, the paper art started with Jody. Jody decided that we needed to do something. So she went down to activities and they arranged for us to have a room. And so we all came together and in the meeting we decided what we were gonna do. And what we were gonna do was to make paper things that would go on cards to give to people because we thought they were expensive in the stores and that we could do it cheaper. All right. So we're doing, first of all, we did um, embroidery, which Sue did. Then next we decided to do quilling, which I did. And I think in the future we're going to do uh, folding, which is going to go on the cards. So then you all kind of vote on what you want to do as a project or a project idea? Yes, and whoever wants to do it gets to do it. All right. Now, did some of the artists bring some work with them that we can look at today? Yes. All right. They all did. And if you want to look at some of our work we have done, it's on this table. This is what we call embroidery on paper. It has a little history to it. This picture here that's framed was done in 1863, and it's embroidery on paper. And you'll see that it has little holes in the paper. It's perforated. Wow, who brought this in? Audrey. I think that belonged to her, she's got a little note here, uncle, I think, years ago, or somebody in her family. His name was Herman, and I don't know his last name. She doesn't, oh, maybe it's on here. Anyway, he died in 1863. He was 38 years old, and it was made by his girlfriend for him for a gift. We think she ran out of pearl beads because there's some pearl beads on there, and some of them are missing. So we think she ran out of beads. This is the quilling table. Okay. The artwork that's done on both of these tables are done by everybody that's in here. Different people. Uh, it's done with pieces of paper like this. And we put them on a quiller like this. They slip on there and then we turn it like that. And we make little long things like this. And then oh. we make a lot of those and we turn them into flowers or other things. Who gets to cut all the paper? We buy it that way. Oh. But you can run it through a shredder if it has not the cross cut shredders. Oh, these are really, really pretty. Thank you. And these are done by everybody in here too. Now, this is what we call a crinker. It crinkles up the... Would this be a dragonfly? Mm -hmm. And as I was, the reason I was telling you this crinker, if you look at the outside of that dragonfly, went through here to crinkle up the paper. Hmm. Went through this machine here. Hmm. Uh, this is some of our other tools. This one. And speaking of the dragonfly, his body was made, I think it was made on the comb. We use this too. Hmm. So we have different tools we can use to make different things. Looks like maybe uh, patience is a good thing to have. Yeah, this has pegs. We put pegs in there and then we put the stuff around the pegs and make different designs with that too. Okay, Sandy, so what are you up to? I'm quilling and I'm a new person at doing any kind of art work like this. And because I'm left-handed, I have to follow my own directions rather than the directions that everybody else follows. This is the quilling 
needle and it's got a little slot in it. Mm -hmm. And then you just put it in there and you start and you cool it up and then you put it in and you measure the size circle and the book tells you what size circles to make. All right. And then once you get them all done, and you'll see ones down the road here that Claudia's doing that she's got hers all ready to put it together. All right. Now, Jody, can I talk to you? You may. Now, I heard a rumor you had something to do with this class getting started in the first place. Is that I, correct? I did. I just thought that there were a lot of things that in art that we haven't tried yet, and it was time we played a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So we are doing quilling. I'm doing a project which I saw in a book, only as everyone has learned about me, I don't quite follow the rules. Mm -hmm. I change it up the way I want it. And so I've gotten started. This is was supposed to be a brick wall. Well, I can't do the squares as well as they should be done, so mine became a stone wall. And it's supposed to have a bear sitting in here. Well, I'm going to have a couple cats, one over, a couple over here, and a couple over here sitting on the fence. Yeah. And then it will be a flower garden around them. And you got Nancy Milton in the yard. I mean, that's pretty nifty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I so. like that. I think one of the things that attracted me to this when I first saw it was how it's 3D. Yes. You know, it's coming out at you. And actually, some of the pieces that I want to do with this will be freestanding 3D in front of it, I mm -hmm. hope, if mm -hmm. I have the talent to do it. Nancy, can you tell me what you're up to? Well, I'm making some leaves. I started a project of a granddaughter getting married this summer, and I'm making her a card that will have quilled products on it because she's going to get a big check instead of a gift. <laughs> so I doubt I, that she'll mind. I don't think so. Since she said she was born of the wrong generation, she should have been born a hundred years ago, where people gave them money to start a house. Ah. Is this so, something you were doing before this particular class started? No, no. I've always wanted to learn how to quill, and when Jody said she was trying to get a group together to learn how to do this, I said, "Ooh, sign me up." And if I may come in. To you, Sue, okay. from the side here. Right. And uh, did you bring some examples? I see a stack of goodies here. Well, um, I showed Leslie some of my paper crafts, and she invited me to come. And they needed a teacher for the first month, so I taught the embroidery on paper class. And I've always done crafts, and I do like to send cards. So making paper crafted cards are, is fun to do and useful. The only problem is when you send someone a handmade card, they expect them. Ah. <laughs> so, so it keeps you busy. And then another friend is wondering if they'll get one of the handmade <laughs> cards. So, and then, you know, a lot of my friends display them, so that's kind of nice mm -hmm. to see. And when they take a break from, I've done quilling, but I dropped out of the quilling so I could spend some time in my watercolor class. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm going to teach them iris paper folding, which um, is... Um, started in the Netherlands and they used envelope liners to make the, for the paper and folded strips of paper hmm. that makes the designs and, uh, and uh, there are uh, lots of paper crafts you can do there's another tea bag folding it the tea bags used to be printed with pictures so what it what is this stack here this is an apple <laughs> and um, it's, it's called iris paper folding because it's like the, uh, like a camera lens. It unfolds. Hi, Leslie. Hi, John. Tell me what you're up to. Well, I think I might have bitten off more than I can chew because I'm new at this, but I'm doing a, an initial as a thank you gift for a relative of mine. So um, once you get the initial made and we're all using the same type of... Um, strips that we've pre-bought in different colors and then we can make them into different shapes. Mm -hmm. Look at all these things. So would this come from like a Joann's or a Michael's? It or? does, it does and then there's always our friend Amazon so. Oh yes. So but I've been doing, I've been in publishing and printing for 30 years and I've always been intrigued at this craft and was drawn to it when I heard from Jody that they were going to start this class. Hmm. 
Are you doing any other? No, I'm going to stick with quilling. I, I uh, have this and I have uh, one other craft that I do, so I want to mm -hmm. make sure I stay focused. If I wanted to find out more about uh, joining this group, what do you do? Come to see us at Thursday afternoons at 1.30. Everybody's welcome to come. Just come into the class and we'll take care of them. Yeah. And if they're not sure what they want to do, just come and see. That's right. And we'll help them do whatever they want to do. All right. That we've done and know how. Okay. <laughs> Be sure you add that. <laughs> I think what's interesting is, especially with paper crafts, that people have used things they have and become creative with them. And just like the edges of the Bible and uh, things like that, and the envelopes and tea bag holding with tea bags. And then I, what I love to see is like what Jody's done is combine different crafts in, in on a, a whole, so you see them in a whole different way and combine a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Mm -hmm. And that's what is great about being in a group because you get ideas from each other and makes everybody better. Mm -hmm. Paper art is a collection of crafts using paper or card as the primary artistic medium for the creation of two and three dimensional objects. Paper and cardstock lend themselves to a wide range of techniques and can be folded, curved, bent, cut, glued, molded, stitched, or layered. Some common types of paper craft are origami, decoupage, card making, scrapbooking, paper flowers, quilling, paper making, paper layering, and book binding. A paper crafter once told me, I'm obsessed with famous couples. Paper and markers, glitter and glue, stamps and die cuts, to name just a few. Yeah.